So, um, awesome. So starting with the dashboard here, uh, there's some small changes just to kind of um, combine three views that we have. So as you all know, we got the tag manager, then there's the my knowledge where all the reports are stored. And then this is where the smart chat is uh, with all the different tags that you can sort of chat with. And one of the things that was problematic was that especially when Pierre was um, kind of uh, using our product and uh, we were kind of seeing him use it, it was kind of confusing at times when he'd click at something and nothing would happen. And he was just kind of confused why, like, and then he'd have to like switch, go back, and then some of his, some of his changes wouldn't be there anymore. So one of the things we've, we've actually done is to save that. Um, and so if you're here and let's say I select something here like Wimbledon, you see that the tag here changed. So basically we're saving that state here, which then also means that if, you're, um, if your tag is public or private to your org, uh, by the way, this will go away and that will be just content level. Um, but at the time, it, this is basically shareable at that point. So if I were to copy paste this and um, let me see, Open a new tab here. And if I do this, I think I might have to log in. Yeah, let me do that. Okay. And now if I do this, basically I can now chat with my tag and it's just showing me that here that I could directly uh, use. So that is now shareable, which wasn't the case before. And also as you will add more tags here, let's say I wanna add this one and something else here. Then you can see this thing here changed. And then we're also for the time being, we're also saving that name here. Uh, that can be anything. It doesn't really have an impact on the application, but more so like um, it could be like, hey, check this out. Like you could name it anything. So essentially giving it a little bit of a, of a structure and name so that somebody's clicking on it kind of knows what's happening. And then one of the other things that happened here was kind of like, if I want to know what's happening here before, if I were to click here, nothing would happen. But this now takes me to the to the tag manager. And also in other things we added just yesterday was like also show which group that tag belongs to. So now just having that here would mean that I click here and I now see here it's got three tags. I can click on these tags. I go here. I'm like, OK, it belongs to this one. I go here. I can see this again. And I think this belongs to two. So also, you can see all those tags. So it basically makes the experience more like connected. And then one of the other changes were like clicking on this one would also not do anything. But so one of the things that we added in um, here was sort of also have that level of privacy that you can change here directly. But then also when you click on the report, it just opens that here. So that's also one of the other things that's kind of like to make that experience feel more seamless, unified. Um, um, so yeah, these were one of the main changes. Um, then there were some small fixes here and there, like uh, we wanted the um, this ad tag experience to feel very similar. And so now here we can see all the tags and ad tags and um, you know interact with this. At the same time, when we did this, it would just not appear as similar, but it's kind of the same view at this point. And then when you do multiple, then that appears like it did before with a create a new tag option. Um, and then there are some small changes here and there. Um, I just had to, so one of the ones that we added was just sort of like uh, specify that you can add zip files. And I, I'm sure we'll add more here, but just kind of giving the users an idea that you can actually upload zip files already. And this would automatically take care of that. This came about yesterday when we were talking about integrations of different sorts where, um, you know, we'd be able to drop Slack data and, you know, convert JSONs into text or whatever from there. So that's automatically done. And then you have a lot of those chats from your org directly in your um, My Knowledge tab, which would be really good for, be great for users because essentially we want to get all that knowledge as easily as possible. And then adding this little um, copy change here as well, uh, because, you know, we understood how easy it made for a lot of users just to use a Chrome extension and would automatically drop it here, which is awesome for our product because then, you know, we don't have to go through that hassle of like adding everything here. Users can just go to a bunch of pages, come back here 
and essentially just start um start chatting with that and yeah that makes the experience feel more uh, it's unified um and uh, yeah so i wanted to mention that and i think with that i've shared most of my changes and also yeah again it's saving state which is great which wasn't happening before so i've come back and it showed me the exact tags that i had selected before um yeah and more coming here there's there's a lot more improvements a lot of things happening and yeah i'll be focusing on that today so with that i'll open the floor for questions and yeah please let me know if you if there's anything you want to yeah mention <laughs> awesome great to see the 